good morning guys um i'm about ready to try to do a little bit something with my hair i wanted to use my curling iron that my husband got me for christmas i used it once so far but um i watched a tutorial last night to try to try to do something different to see what my hair looks like but i don't have long hair so this tutorial was done with long hair so i don't know how mine's gonna look mine looks kind of weird curled because it's short i normally just like to run my straightener through it or i like to take my big fat curling iron through it is like and flip it out on the ends and I think I really like it that way the best but I'm just gonna try something different maybe so um today is Wednesday I don't even know what day it is because we have had a rough last week um as you guys know we were sick in the last vlog well Cole has been really sick the last past couple of days he's had a really bad cold and come to find out we took him to the doctor on Monday he had an ear infection Cole's never had an ear infection before so this is the first time and he's never been this sick um, Monday Cole was pretty miserable and that was probably day three of him coughing which I think he started coughing on my birthday and um, it just got worse so um, they checked him though he checked his lungs and everything he's fine he's just coughing a lot but snotting and a lot I'm sure his throat even hurt him, but we've been giving him Tylenol because he was running a fever and stuff too, and it's just been miserable seeing your kid sick for the first time. Like, I've never had to deal with this yet because Cole's never been sick, and it's really weird because not that long ago I was talking about how, oh, I was lucky because Cole's never been sick, and then that's how it goes. He's out here with Otis. He likes watching Otis eat his food. Hi, baby. Mommy's going in her bedroom. You gonna come in there with me? Yeah. You sound terrible. <coughs> oh goodness. Goodness. Um, I was trying to give him his antibiotic a little bit ago and it was scary because um he got in one of them coughing spells where he was gagging himself and really like choking coughing. I hate that so much it gives me like a massive heart attack I'm not even kidding you guys so um it's been rough huh see you don't feel good oh and on top of that let me just tell you guys what happened to us yesterday let me sit you guys down here and I'll talk a little bit before I get started with the vlog even though I don't know what we're gonna do I really need to go to the store because I want to get some stuff to make um a crock pot video for you guys this week but um I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get to the store to do that yesterday morning when Cole got up we gave him some milk which milk is like bad for mucus and that kind of stuff so we don't want to give him a lot of milk but Cole loves milk and that's what he wants when he wakes up so we gave him a little milk um and he was laying on the couch so after that we switched his milk to Gatorade um I think this one's called the fierce grape or something fierce grape or something like that Gatorade and um he was drinking that for a little bit and you know this was also after I gave him the antibiotic which he is now on a different antibiotic because they switched it but the first antibiotic I gave to him a little bit before he had the Gatorade so um we didn't really, you know, we was just going about our morning and my husband had started to notice that Cole was breaking out on his face around his mouth and his lips looked like they were starting to swell up and um, it did not look good. Like it just looked like a rash was forming and hives, like little hives only on his face though. That was the only area around his mouth that was really affected, like nowhere else on his body was affected. So I started freaking out, of course mom you know in, intuition mom whatever I don't know I just started like thinking that he was having an allergic reaction to the antibiotic because at this point he had been on it this was his second dose um, of it and it was amoxicillin which I cannot take like my mom her side of the family just can't take it but um, I cannot take my mom says that I broke out in a rash or something and I'm like I can't take it I don't know but um Scott, my my husband has no, like, history of being allergic to any kind of medications or anything. So, the first dose that we gave to Cole, we didn't notice anything. Like, he was fine. 
And so I really thought that something was happening from the medicine. So it never dawned on me that it could have been the Gatorade. So we take him to the emergency room, which I hate going to, and then it costs a leg and an arm on top of everything else. Um, the doctor said, well, it's not an allergic reaction to the medicine because his whole body would be broke out, which I've heard that before. So I kind of started, like at first I was in denial because I was convinced it was the medicine because we hadn't done anything differently. I had forgot about the Gatorade and it never really occurred to me that maybe Cole was allergic to the Gatorade. So um, last evening when we come home, so they switched my antibiotic, they switched his antibiotic to a new one. We come home last night and around dinner we give Cole some more Gatorade. Now keep in mind we were giving Cole Gatorade because he was lacking like hydration fluids and we also have Pedialyte but we were switching it up and he really likes Gatorade. So he's had Gatorade before but not this flavor of Gatorade. Um, so we give him some more Gatorade. Um, not long after that he started breaking out but this time he was getting hives on his arms, on his legs, on his butt, um, on his face as well. And it was like a much worser breakout than the first time. I put some cream on it for him. He seems to be okay other than just like, I feel bad because I think he itches from it. But we throw out that Gatorade and we're keeping a note on that Gatorade. But I just prefer not to even give him any Gatorade. Hey guys. All right, so we're going to go to Food Line and get a couple things, not a lot of stuff because we don't really have a lot of money this week because we have some really big payments that we have to pay. So I'm a little frustrated with that because I really wanted to do my crock pot video for you guys this week, but I don't think it's going to happen because um, I don't have the money to go buy the stuff to make all the food, or, but that's the status. So Cole's eating some French toast sticks. I'm getting ready to put the dishes away um, in the dishwasher and... We also are not going to be going anywhere this weekend. The weather, unfortunately, is going to get bad again. Plus, Cole's sick and everybody's sick. So, we're going to need more time to get people to have people get better before we go on our little adventure that we want to go on and have a night away. So, we're just going to wait until some other time. But I look forward to going to the store. I know a lot of people say they like grocery pickup and online pickup or whatever. I'm sure it's a lot easier. But... I actually look forward to going to the grocery store to get my stuff because it gives me something to do. I just 100% honest and real with you guys, I just don't know what to do during the day. I don't know what to do. I feel sometimes I just like I have to be doing something at all times because I get so, I just get so bored. I don't know how to explain that to anybody. It's just because the way my life was. Um, before I was a stay-at-home mom, I was just so active and on the go that like I, I just never been able to get used to not doing anything. It's very difficult for me. I have to be doing stuff and that's just who I am. So like going out to the store is something that I really look forward to. So when I don't have money to go buy the food, it's even more frustrating. You know what I mean? Cause Are you eating over there? Are you eating? I want to show you guys Cole's face real quick. Yeah. It's still kind of bad, but you guys see his face. Yeah. Hi, Nene. You're so handsome. Your face looks awful. Uh. Yeah. Uh. My goodness, boy. Uh. Uh -huh. Bless your heart. Uh. Hey, guys. So I just got back from Walmart. Um, I'm like having... I'm just really concerned right now so I've been like crying a little bit just because it's very overwhelming but um we went to Walmart we bought groceries on the way home in the car Cole just started like crying really really hard to where he was like coughing so bad where he was choking himself which was scaring me but anyways I got him calmed down I'm gonna make this really quick before I leave because I gotta go back down to the doctor. Sorry I cut off, but my grandma called and I had to explain what was going on. But um so um I don't remember what I even said to you guys other than Cole's body is like breaking out in hives again. 
and um, th actually this is the first time that his body is like breaking out. Before it was just on his face a little bit. And he is on antibiotics, so like I'm so like confused. But the only thing like that we did notice yesterday differently, and it just so happens that he's on an antibiotic too, which is frustrating because I don't know. But the doctor said yesterday that it looked more like he had consumed like ate something. It didn't didn't it wasn't like a allergic to re to medicine reaction, which he took the medicine last night and this morning and to walmart i gave him some fruit snacks because he loves those welch's fruit snacks well here come find out i looked on the back of the box it has the same ingredient in the fruit snacks that was in the gatorade so i'm thinking it's the red dye that's in the um gatorade and in the fruit snacks it's the red 40 i think is what it is and the blue one i don't know one of those but cole's been eating fruit snacks for a while so that's why i'm confused by it i'm very confused so we're going to go down to where he went to the doctor a couple days ago hopefully they can give me some answers and i will update you guys when we get back I got, i'm going to make me something to eat my husband's on his way home i'm so just like worried cole's in there sleeping now he was so tired but um so i'm gonna try to make me something to eat really quick and just chill out for a little bit i was gonna do a grocery haul but things just got hectic i didn't get a whole lot of stuff anyways but i did get the stuff to make the tacos but now i'm not gonna get to make it because i think you make the recipe in the crock pot i'm not sure if you can do it on the stove i'll find out when i come back home but i think the whole point of it was to do it on the stove top or in the crock pot so i might have to wait till tomorrow to make that so my salad is really really good I really really like it. it had like a Dijon mustard sauce dressing to go over it. It has cranberries, some like pecans I think. Um, I added these croutons that I had up in my cabinet. They're kind of large like I didn't realize how big these croutons are but I wish they were a little bit smaller. But yeah it's really really good. So I am satisfied with that purchase and I can get one more salad out of that bag. This was so one of those small bags can feed a person twice, <laughs> I would say. Maybe if you wanted just like a little less salad, you might be able to get some more salad out of it, but it was really good. I also had one of these because I really like these. You guys know every time I go to Walmart, I get one of these drinks. But I feel like they're really good for you and they have green drinks too in case you don't get a lot of vegetables. So. So it's a little later now we got back from the doctor um the, the doctor we went to we saw a different lady today but um she recommended that we just stop the antibiotic so we stopped that she called him some prednisone in which is like a steroid to help with his hives but we're not going to start that till tomorrow because i'm afraid he won't go to sleep if we do it now it's like five o'clock so um we gave him some benadryl and we also have some we bought dye free we also bought dye-free um, Tylenol. So um, just in case that he is maybe having a reaction to some kind of dye, which now me and my husband is thinking it was the medicine all along maybe. Because here come to find out, the amoxicillin and the second stuff that the person at the emergency room gave him are all in the same family. Like the medicine's all in the same family. So to me, that really made me mad because I did not know that. Um, and I'm a little, I'm just a little appalled that they would have gave my son something that was the same, in the same exact family. Like, I would have thought they would have gave him something completely different from the amoxicillin. It really doesn't make sense to me why they would have done that. But, so, but that would make sense why his hives were getting worse. Um, if that, in fact, is the case with the medication. So... We don't really know. He looks like he's starting to get a little bit better. And we also bought him some of this. So I went to Walmart freaking twice today, you guys. But we also got him some of this, which is the Aveeno Baby Therapy. And we're going to do that. So I'm actually thinking about maybe here in a little bit um, cleaning my room. So I might film that for you guys and just 
have like a little extra video this week for you guys to get it up faster. I have one vlog that I'm uploading tonight, which is for my birthday weekend, um, which was like just, we stayed home pretty much. But I got that vlog to get up and then I don't have any other videos. So I thought maybe I could just put some cleaning motivation at the end of this video for today. Um, this was actually going to be one of the videos that I was going to share with you guys. But I'm just going to go ahead and share with you guys really quickly. If you guys want to give this a shot, my husband really liked it. So I'm glad that it was good. And I really liked it too. I thought it was really good. It was different than just having the plain taco meat. Um, so we had what we like to call taco bowls or whatever taco night for us. But this is how we do it. But this was something new that I tried today. So all you need is two cans of the Bush's chili beans. You need one can of Rotel tomatoes, or whatever that is, original. And you need a small can, I forget the ounce because I threw it away, but it's a small one, like a, like one of the smallest cans of tomato sauce that you can get by Hunt's is what I used. And you're going to need a taco packet and some ground beef and an onion. And then if you want to add any of your own like spices, you can do that too. I did a little onion powder and garlic powder, salt and pepper. And originally I was supposed to make this in the crock pot, but I didn't have enough time because we got home late. So I just did it on the stove top. And honestly, we both really thought it was really good just done on the stove top. I let it boil and cook for about 20 minutes. And it's really flavorful and really good. Like I was not expecting it to be good. And then we served it with some taco blend cheese and some sour cream. And oh man, with... Um, chips on the bottom of our bowls. We like to do, my husband did some Frito chips, which is what the recipe called for. And I did Doritos crunched up at the bottom. And then we just mix it all up and we have like little taco bowls. But I preferred it this way, a little bit better than just plain taco meat, because that's what we normally did. And then I would do like spinach in my bowl and stuff, but I actually liked it better this way. And it was a little bit more feeling, filling <laughs> with the beans in there. So, um, yeah, you guys have to let me know if you want to try this out because I really thought it was good, but I got it off Pinterest and I thought it was a win, so.
So my battery is going dead, but that's all I'm going to do for today's cleaning motivation with this vlog. Um, I probably got enough footage now to finish and complete this vlog for you guys so I can get a video up a lot sooner for you guys because I have no other videos pre-filmed right now. Um, and that's because like I haven't had time because of, of my son being sick, going back and forth, running to doctors, offices, and all kind of stuff. It's actually 9 o'clock and Cole's still asleep, so... I checked on him a little while ago and he's fine he's just really tired i think he was up some last night throughout the night i had to go in and i gave him a little milk to get him to go back to sleep because he acted like he was really thirsty so i guess he's just sleeping in you know trying to catch up on sleep because he has not slept the best since he's been sick and he hasn't really took naps very good either during the day and about maybe in the future doing some more cleaning videos at my grandma's house if she wants me to come clean for her or even at my mom's house so you guys can like just look out for stuff like that. I'm going to be doing some more organizing in my house. So I will have, I mean I'll still do cleaning videos like obviously. But I am just was, I don't know why. I felt like I wanted to tell you guys that I see people doing these like insane videos all the time. Where their house is like trashed or there's just stuff everywhere. And like I don't know. I cannot let my house go like that. So um, that's just me. I'm very OCD in that way I guess. I just can't do it. So um i hope you guys like this video continue to say prayers for my son as he gets better um and hopefully he can get over the ear infection without the antibiotics um i don't know if not then we'll have to see but stay tuned because i probably will vlog again in a couple days or so i might just take a little break for like a couple days get better help cole get better and spend time with him and just trying to focus on what else i want to get done filming for my channel but thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.